Yes, we're home in Mexico. I got the fountain running. If you've been with me for a while in my JC Travel Stories YouTube channel, you know that I haven't made a video for about a month. Um, I want to start today's video by thanking all of those of you who expressed in comments and emails your concern that something was awry with Lynn and I. It's not. I just needed a break. And uh, today's video is going to be about our last days in Arizona. A bunch of random clips that uh, each one could have been a whole video, but uh, I decided that if I was not motivated to make videos, you wouldn't be motivated to watch them. Back in Mexico, I'm hoping that those of you who are interested in retiring and living in Mexico will increase my views. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Enjoy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. In my last video, we were disassembling some greenhouses and ran into three rattlesnakes. So let's start today where we left off there. Uh, not with the rattlesnakes. They got moved, but uh, what happened with the greenhouses? Well, we have the greenhouses disassembled and transported down here to the ranch and uh, this is what two greenhouses disassembled look like and at this point we are jumping through the hoops with the county to make sure that we're reassembling them according to all the rules and regulations well it turns out the santa cruz county wants us to jump through all of the same hoops as if we're building a whole brand new real house. And that got to be too much at this time, so we tabled this project until next fall. We did some camping, one of our favorite spots here. On the trail up there. We did some hiking. My brother and my cousin Mike from South Dakota visited us. That's Roger on the left and Mike in the middle in the purple shirt. And of course, my son Peter there in the foreground. Well done. Hoping for a little something for YouTube here. Nobody, oh, nobody. geez. Come on, you guys. Uh, we'll try Take one for the team. We'll try this again in <laughs> fall five in, years. Fall in the water. <laughs> oh, in, oh, in five I'll years? <laughs> How old am I going to be in five years? Never mind. Don't answer that. Everything that that I don't sit. I don't sit still long enough generally to look at oh, my watch or my ring. <laughs> you look great. Oh, that's Grandpa Abras. Well, after a long, long horse ride, we finally made it to Tombstone, Arizona. Walked down Main Street hoping to not get in a gunfight. Yeah? You look pretty serious. Come on, let's have a smile. <laughs> All these people got big heads, don't they? Well, I'm looking for one that fits. <laughs> oh, is that how it works? Okay. Oh, that's better. <laughs> what do you think? Do you have something to tell us about your hair? We washed it, we put it in a ponytail, we braided it, and then it comes out in a day, wild curly. Turn and look the other way so we can see the back. 
Whoa. It's big. It's big. You got big hair. I got real big hair. <laughs> What's that? These are my um, cranberry pills. Oh, okay. They're gummies. They're gummies, yeah. You just pop them in your mouth and chew them. Whoop de okay. doo! Whoop de doo! Na 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 <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Lynn got a new ring for her birthday. Well, we've got some metal detector guys back again. This time, we're not looking for a lost ring. We're just looking for whatever. And, uh... Looks like some hard ground over yeah. here. <laughs> actually along an old railroad berm. Do a little bit of this. <laughs> That's really pinging. Bajie. So the kids missed two days of school and got to school. Uh -huh. This is Courtney. Kid got to school and uh, the teacher well, said, you, you missed two days of school, where you been? He said, well, the other night, a couple of nights ago, he said, that there was uh, some kind of a sound in the chicken coop. Flash. His grandpa went out there with a 12 gauge shotgun. He took a look into the chicken coop, and just as he did, you know, he'd gotten up out of bed, wasn't wearing much clothes. And he bent over and looked in the chicken coop, and old Rover had cold-nosed him. Oh, no. <laughs> We've been picking chickens for two days. <laughs> there it is. It's a spike. Ooh, it is a spike. Look at that. Wow. That's a good find. <laughs> So it's got to be laying there since before 1929, because that's mm -hmm. when they abandoned it. That's true. Let's get the yeah. Yeah. That is a great find. We went to the old mining town of Bisbee, Arizona. This is some of the equipment they used in the mines. That's a an elevator that brings the ore cars up from down in the mine. We saw the same thing the other day in Tombstone. Really? Slow down, partner. Back home on the ranch, we decided that the road we made up and over the hill as a bypass uh, for the old right-of-way should be wider in order to make it safer. And we made it wide enough that these two huge machines, the excavator and the road grader, could pass. So there'll be plenty of room for cars. All finished, it's looking pretty good, and we used the extra dirt down here at the bottom to make it less of an incline as we go up the hill. It's looking real good. The road grader and the bulldozer passed up here. What? The road grader and the bulldozer passed each other. I up can't here. hear you. You're too far away. <laughs> As the sun sets on our winter in Arizona, we're packing up the motorhome. We'll miss it. Arizona. There's a reason that this is the flag of Arizona. Never forget the sunsets. And the sun sets on us as we head for Mexico. Well, we wound up at the very back seat of the plane this time, which is just fine with me. Leaving Tucson, our son's ranch is over behind those mountains in the distance. It's been really wonderful spending several months there helping him with his new place. It's the most time we've spent with him as an adult. What's with your mask, Lynn? 
<laughs> I don't know what mountain this is, but uh, I do recognize the snow. Approaching LA International, we have a three hour layover here. We actually like that. Um, breaks up a trip and gives us a chance to get something to eat. Los Angeles wouldn't be my favorite place to be, but uh, I'm not driving the plane. Back in the air, you can see we're flying straight down the Sea of Cortez, 527 miles an hour. We're at 37,000 feet, and the air temperature outside is a minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Are you glad to be home, Lynn? Yeah, sort of. Sort of? Yeah. We love that motorhome stuff, huh? I, I do love that motorhome. And lo I love getting up and seeing my son in the morning. Yep, well. But it's nice to come home and see all the beautiful work that Gina has done. Well, job number one was getting my computer going which I did. Job number two is going and getting a vehicle running so that I can go to Walmart and get some groceries. So that's what's going on here. After sitting for six months, it's pretty darn dirty, but it'll clean up just fine. Turns out our house sitter for the winter was a master gardener and she's done better with the vegetable gardens than we have for years. I'm cutting some Swiss chard. We've also got beets, turnips, tomatoes, cilantro, peas, and a whole bunch of flowers in the other garden. Already ate some beet greens and uh, buttered beets. I dug up a couple of turnips also, and that'll motivate me to make some soup. The tomatoes are on their last legs, but I threw some into a foil pack I put on the barbecue, and very sweet. Well, let's see what's on the barbecue. Uh, my brother, who you met earlier in the video, 
uh, is an expert on foil packets on the barbecue. And uh, I'm not as good as he is, but I made up one here with fresh stuff. Foil pack on the barbecue. Actually, I forgot. I always leave the barbecue open because if you don't, the cockroaches think it's the Roach Hotel. But if it's open, they don't seem to want to be in there. And uh, my barbecue is hooked up to the gas in the house and I keep it shut off just in case. Bougainvillea, ouch. Mm, it smells like it's uh, overdone. Hopefully it's just a little of the juice got out of my cheap foil. Well, bienvenidos de Mexico. The lights just, oh, they went off. Now they came back on. Whee. And they're off again. Well, let's see what we got here. Ouch, no, not yet. Open that up over here. Holding the camera with one hand. I'm going to use... And the lights are on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use two hands. I'll be right back. And the big reveal. Is it burned or not? Ouch. Ooh, no, it's not. And it's perfect. Ooh, yummy. We have uh, broccoli, onion, potato, tomato, um, sausage, red onion, yellow pepper, sweet pepper, and potato. Did I say potato? Anyway, too bad it's not smell-o-vision. It smells really good. I put in the pepper garlic salt, ginger, um, a little bit of cayenne, and cumin. Um, some butter and, uh, what was that? Oh, uh, sesame oil. Now we're gonna eat. I planted some more cilantro and espinaca. Um, spinach in this vacant row. Somebody's been doing a little work on the cactus garden. Condito must have started cleaning that out. It needs some serious attention. The flower garden over here is looking good. All of this stuff that has the flowers that are dying and the white flowers here that's cilantro gone to seed. Uh, back here in this bare spot, I planted some butternut squash. So we'll see what goes on with that in a few weeks. This other cactus garden, it's also gotten way out of hand. Cleaning up a cactus garden is dangerous stuff. Gotta get rid of these. It's probably an avocado tree trying to grow there. It's good to be home. I always loved being in the motorhome and I'm always sad to leave the motorhome, but this is not a terrible place to be. And I know that a lot of you, uh, regular viewers, are glad that I'm home in Mexico, making videos about Mexico instead of that RVing stuff. <laughs>
Thanks for sticking with me. Let's make some retired in Mexico videos. See you soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.